Hello, my little buds. My little buds. My little buds. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my little buds. And welcome, or welcome back to, where's the camera? Is it over here? No, 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 it's over here. It's over here. It's over here. It's right over here. Welcome back to Sativa Sequoia. ugly winter coat today. What's in my pockets? Let's find out. Some keys. Some keys. Some keys. Some keys. Some keys. These are my keys. They're not anybody else's keys, darling. What else do we have? Oh, we have a geek bar. Now, Honey, we aren't sponsored, but if I were to be sponsored, it would fucking be by Geek Bar, right? This is legitimately, again, I'm not sponsored. I'm, I'm giving you my honest opinion, honey. Uh, this is the best. This is the best vape I've ever had. Not this particular flavor. This is not my favorite. However, it is like top 10, you know. I don't know how many flavors there are. tell you what I like about this vape, okay? It has, it has a, a power stat and it has a juice stat. This vape is everything I wanted in an elf bar, but could never achieve because like they're flavorful the entire way through as opposed to some of them where they fade out like halfway through. And it tells you like when you're gonna run flat. And it's like, yeah, of course a vape should tell you that. Like, guys, catch up. Geek bar. Geek bar. The geek bar. We're also not sponsored by this, but this is a beer which is 9.9%. .9%, and honestly, that does me good. That does me good. As you can see, we're going full non-glamour tonight. I have my natural hair. My natural hair. I have the winter jacket because it's a little bit chilly in here, darling. It's early March. It's early March. But the actual treat I have for you, you know, I have two treats actually. I do have two treats. I'm leaning on one right now. I'm leaning on one of them. Right now. Right now. I have to remember that the camera's here. Because it's so tempting just to monitor myself right here. But I'm trying not to do that, guys. I'm trying to give you the iconic eye contact. So I'm probably autistic. So it's a little bit hard for me. But, you know. So I made some uh, orange chicken. I made some orange chicken. I'm gonna toss it in the sauce for a second. I'm gonna toss it in the sauce for a second. If that's okay with you guys. And this is kind of ASMR too. This is kind of ASMR too. Can I shout out an ASMR artist that I really love? Softly Galoshes. I've been following her. I'm pretty sure it's her. Yeah. Uh, I'm always so anxious when using pronouns for people that I don't know because I don't want to like, you know, if it's a they, she, I want to go they, she, but I'm pretty sure that Softly Galoshes is a her. So we're going to go with Softly Galoshes, her, she, her. Thank you very much. Love her ASMR. And she does this thing where she does voice cracks. And I love voice cracks. I don't know why it gets me. I don't know why it gets me like the ASMR tingles. Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. I think it's because it combines the vocal fry register in the attacks. You hear how I'm using a little bit of the vocal fry register. A little bit of the vocal fry register. 
combine with this higher in my higher in my range, and I'm riding my passaggio. I'm riding my brake. So it sort of sounds like that. And I, I do think Softly Galoshes invented this on YouTube. And I love Softly Galoshes. Like, so I should subscribe to them on Patreon. And honestly, you should too. Okay, I think I've tossed my, um, I do believe it's it's either a General Tso's or orange chicken. I, it was in my freezer. Mmm. Mmm. So tender. Absolutely tender, darling. Mm. Now, I had some of this before, so I'm just going to eat two pieces for you. Portion control. Mm. It really is delicious now. I have some broth on the stove, so I'm going to pause this video for you guys. I'm going to pause this video for you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, my little buds, so we're back. I made a, um, a bone broth because I have these, um, these beef bones, these beef bones, these beef bones, and they are really only good for making broth, so I made some broth. I really like the texture of this. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm gonna tell you again, this is not an ad. <laughs> like, vaping is bad for you. You should not vape. I do not recommend vaping. However, this is the best vape I've ever had. Okay, now we get to the actual the meat and potatoes of the video. We're like, what, like six minutes in, seven minutes in, something like that. Girl, if you like the ASMR, we're here for the long haul, girl. We like the long videos here in the ASMR community. The long videos, even though I know my watch time. Here's the thing, you guys. Like, so many of you don't watch the whole video. And it's like, all the good stuff is like two-thirds of the way through the video. You know? So I really, I just, I just really wish you guys would watch the whole video, you know? That's all. The real buds, the real buds, they watch the whole video. And they comment. Yes, they do. Even if it's just an emoji. Lately, my fans have been commenting little green heart emojis for Sativa. Oh, it just warms my cold little heart. So anyway, this is my makeup case. Let me, um... Oh, she's heavy. She's packed, girl. So it does... I really like this one. I got it on Amazon, I think. Either Amazon or eBay. Um, and it has a compartment on the outside, as you can see, and a main compartment, which is divided by dividers, which are movable. And that's really what I wanted in a makeup case. <sighs> that and either wheels or a strap. We stay strapped. So, I'm going to open up my makeup case. So, first, uh, this is sort of like a what's in my bag, but, pardon me, orange chicken. It's a what's in my bag, but it's, um, basically I just packed my makeup case for you guys. I just packed my makeup case for you guys. I actually packed it for me because, like, I need my makeup case to be in order, you know, because I'm often called upon to be, you know, glamorous 20 miles from here. And, um, it's, you know, I prefer to get in makeup at the venue, honestly. Like, I'll go in, I'll do my sound check, I'll get in makeup, do my show. That's sort of my order that I really do prefer. I can do my sound check in makeup, of course, there's nothing wrong with that. 
Oh, really? I mean, I hope for a green room. <laughs> you know, that's that's actually what it's about, is like, I really hope for a green room. And if there isn't a green room, I will take over the nearest public restroom. That sink area, that's mine now. Why? Because you didn't provide me a green room. Girl. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna unzip. Oh, we do love zipper sounds here on the channel, so let's see if we can get these poor stressed out zippers to get you some sounds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. She's catching on my washcloth when we tuck her in. We tuck her in. Oh, you see like the zippers are very stressed because I uh I put a lot of things. I put a lot of things in my makeup kit. So let's um. Oh. Oh. Okay. So oh, my bobby pins just fell out. Give me, give me a moment. A moment for bobby pins. A moment for bobby pins. So yeah, this is clearly the first item in our in our lineup. Um, it's the the bobby pins. Now, I made the mistake, I made the mistake the other day. I was in the Target and I bought bobby pins that are non-grippy bobby pins. So you see how this bobby pin, do you see how this bobby pin, do you see this, do you, do you see it? Do you see it or am I Delulu? No, that's a bobby pin, right? And you see how it has the grippy side and the straight side. So I apparently they make bobby pins that don't have a grippy side on them. And you know what they do? Nothing. They do nothing. They do fucking nothing. They don't hold your wig on when you need them to hold them on. So we get the grippy bobby pins and don't be fooled by the non-grippy bobby pins, okay? Don't be fooled. So I'm gonna turn my case around so you can see it, okay guys? I'm gonna turn my case around. And this is like really revealing, you guys, because this is like, this is the real me. You see I have no makeup on, right? Like this is the real me, but this, this is the real me. So I'm gonna just tilt the camera down a little bit if I can, if my iPad isn't gonna fall off the case. So here we have, let me move my orange chicken as delicious as she was. So here we have the case. And so this has, this case, this case, this makeup case has built in this little Velcro. You see the Velcro? It has this little Velcro built in. And I couldn't think of anything that I could possibly fit on here except for my straightening iron. And it is very helpful to have a straightening iron. Straightening iron. Straightening iron. Straightening iron. You watch me have a stroke on camera and, like, we get tingles from it? Is that what we're here for? A straightening iron, honey. A straightening iron. I'm not going to take it out. I don't know what brand it is. I don't care. It's a straightening iron. They're all more or less the same, right? So this is a silicone wig cap. I only wear these if I'm going to be doing a wig change. Because these are very helpful if you have a wig cap and pins already in. And if you're going to be doing a wig change and not gluing on your wig, this really helps to um, glue it on. But at the expense of giving me a headache, because I have an XL head, honey. I'm a six foot three assigned male at birth. And like, this is very stretchy. I would love one of these that is like half an inch larger. You know, I say that about a lot of men, okay? We also have a, um, a wig cap, a wig cap, a wig cap, a wig cap basic stuff. We have some safety razors because sometimes you need to clean up your decolletage because you're assigned male at birth and not, not a woman natally. Not a natal woman, no. We have a, a washcloth 
these are very helpful for all kinds of things. For example, if you need to apply a rubbing alcohol to your temples so you can stick your wig tape on there, very helpful. Also, sometimes if you don't have like, oh, actually, I use this to clean my brushes a lot. Is I that's why I keep a washcloth in here. So this is a new addition. Actually, let's get these out of the way first. This is a perfume I'm using. This is a hair clip. A hair clip. A hair clip. She went off, girl. So this is a noticeable addition. So this is like a lighting socket that I just had lying around that I put this um this Edison adapter into, and then I put a light bulb in it. I put a light bulb in it. So basically the idea is I have a makeup light and electricity light to charge a phone or something or to charge my USB speaker, um, like anywhere I go. So that's why I keep this in here, girl. 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 So this, um, my sister gave me, it's a, um, it's a moisturizer, basically. I don't like the scent. I don't like scented products, but I need a moisturizer. So like, hey, it's free. I'll use it, girl. Next up, we have my trade secret eyebrows. You could never, you could never go on Amazon and search out eyebrow tattoo stickers. Safe, waterproof, easy, easy to use. You could never go on Amazon and search this out because these are what? Just for me and my girls. More wig caps. This appears to be a piece of trash. I say that about a lot of men too. <laughs> This appears to be a piece of trash. Gone. Next up we have um, a little USB guy for like, I plug it into my Edison adapter on my lighting. And here we have, um, oh no. See, I told you guys, I told you guys it's going to fall home. Let's tilt. We're going to tilt. Yes, God, we're tilting. Okay, so, um. I'm not gonna edit that out, by the way. We're getting lo-fi ASMR today. This is um actually a very useful cable. So this one, it, number one, it comes with a cable tie, really good. The brand is Native Union. And number two, it's a combination old style USB so for like some of the vapes and some of the old cell phones and Lightning for the old Apple products, so I use that, and I also have a little USB-C. And what are these for? To charge vapes, honey, and cell phones. Oh, we have a powder poof. We have a powder poof. Oh, she's dirty. Oh, she's dirty. I'm sorry, girls. And then we have um, a variety of hotel cosmetic products which I carry just one in my case. This one is a conditioner. And this one is a shampoo. This one is a lotion. And this one is a soap. I only use these for my brushes. I don't use these for my face because I've learned the hard way. They do not agree. The shampoo's fine. Conditioner, fine. Soap, fine. The lotion burns. The lotion... It burns. So, um, the lotion is like, you know, I could use it on my legs or something, uh, but not on my face. The shampoo I use to wash my brushes, the, the conditioner I use to condition my natural hair brushes. So that's why I have that. And that's everything that's in the top of my makeup case. I'm going to zip her up again. I'm going to repack this later because I'm doing this live for you guys. I'm doing this live for you guys. Ah, yes, God, we are doing it live. Okay, let me, let me just do this here. Let me just unzip it. Whoa, we're unzipping. Oh, whoa, we're unzipping. Okay, so, as you can see, the top, the top of it is just loaded, honey. So this has 
a brush roll in it. So basically, these are all my brushes, and I am absolutely not going to go through all of these. Um, as you can see, these are like used. I haven't washed these. This is my working makeup kit. So if I have like a, a problem where I need to wash a brush, that's where I have, you know, the facilities to wash a brush. Given water in here. Let me let me go through a few of them though. Oh, some noted points. So this right here, this right here. Let me pull it up. Oh dear. Oh, this is the Ben Nye Final Seal. The Ben Nye Final Seal. And this is the only setting spray you'll ever need. You know, all the setting sprays. Girls use hairspray, you know. Um, hairspray works pretty well, but this is much more gentle, darling. <laughs> it's really a lovely product, and it smells like toothpaste. Uh, any other notable notes? This here's an eyeliner pencil. We've got some little brushes, a big fluffy brush. I have a pen in here just in case I need it. This looks like, what is this, a mascara? That's a mascara, that's a mascara. We got some more pens in here. We got the NYX, can you see that? Can you see that? We got the NYX jumbo pencils right here. And then we've got a nail clipper and some tweezers in there along with some more pens, or rather some more cream pencils for the eyes. We got some silvers, we got a, uh, some scissors we got some more brushes so that's like that is my brush kit right there that's essentially all of my brushes except the ones that I've lost except the ones that I've lost and we pour one out for them straight into the mouth delicious okay so now here's the difficult part hold on I have to adjust my nose piercing because I feel her rotating do we like the nose piercing? This is actually one of my favorite ones. It's just a little stud. A little stud, and I do enjoy a little stud. Okay, so I'm gonna try and tilt this as much as I can. Oh, wait! I just had a brilliant idea. I'm gonna use this, um, wait, we'll see if this works. We will see if this works. Oh, so I just used my silicone wig band to band my iPad to the, um, to the stand. So let's see if I can just, oh yeah. oh yeah, that's the view, that's the view. All right, so we're just gonna go in order across, okay, like very basic. So we have um, a charging cable for the speaker, this speaker right here, let me center it in the frame, this speaker right here. And I don't remember where I got it from, Sound Logic is the brand, but it's just so small and it's slightly better. I really think music is important to have when you're getting ready. So this is why I have a little USB speaker. And then we have um, some lash glue that I'm trying to use up and my new lash glue. We have several beauty blenders because we like to use them both dry and not dry. We have a lipstick, this one. This one is by Maybelline. Oh, Maybelline. Why can't you be true? Oh, Maybelline. Why can't you be true? It's not like to those things you see. should be true oh maybe why can't you be true Ooh. and it's not right doing those things we used to do yeah so this one um this one's a lovely red I don't actually wear red lipstick very often, but I do, um, I do wear it occasionally as, like, if I put black in the corners and then, like, a gold in the center as a base color. So that's why I have it in my makeup kit. This one, oh, this is my go-to. This is the black lipstick by Ben Nye. 
just say I have a few more Ben Nye's in here. This one is The Wild Violet by Ben Nye. This is another go-to, really lovely color, and I put some gold in the middle usually. This one, I've lost the label, but it's another Ben Nye one. I think it's another red. Yeah, I think it's their classic red, their classic red, their classic red, their classic red. That's why I have those in there. Okay, moving along. I have a little bottle of cedar oil. I found this in my apartment when I moved into it. It was a horrible apartment and a horrible place, but I do have this from it. And it's a lovely bottle of cedar oil. And I, uh, I layer it with this, so it's sort of like a... I would describe it as almost musky, but like in a f sweet way, not like man musk, you know, like perfume musk. Different thing entirely, darling, though I am a connoisseur of the former. This is, um, so this is branded as Ben Nye Charcoal Character Powder. But I actually use this as black eyeshadow because I use a shit ton of black eyeshadow. I really do use a lot of black eyeshadow, okay? So that's why I have that. And then I have hair ties because I always need hair ties because I have long hair. Okay, next over we have some powder products. Oh, look at that smudge, girl. We love a good smudge. Okay, so um, first up we have, this is actually quite rare. I've been told this blush is quite rare, a quite rare blush. This is Stereo Rose by MAC. And it's just so lovely. I really, I really do enjoy this product. Um, if it would open, hello. Yeah, I really love it. It's one of the baked ones, so it's baked onto like a ceramic tile. And it's just lovely. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm. Speaking of NARS Orgasm, I have one in here, but you know. This is my um, my favorite highlighter. It's the Wet n Wild. Believe it or not, my favorite highlighter is the Wet n Wild. And actually, I have a new one here. You can compare, you know, compare and contrast. As you can see, I have hit pan. I have hit pan on this one because it's so good, girl. So I bought a new one, and as you can see, they have the lovely, such a lovely press. Like, Wet n' Wild really went off with this one. Okay, and then next, and then next, I have, um, I've had this for forever. I don't, I haven't seen these in the, um, I haven't seen these in the grocery store, or rather the drugstore recently. This is the L'Oreal 24-hour infallible eyeshadow in the little pot, and as you can see, it's got... It's just lasted me forever, and I think that's why I haven't seen them recently, because they must, you know, you, you buy one once and you have it for like five fucking years, you know? So um, that's why I have that one there. It's just a really good gold eyeshadow, really dependable. And then I have um, a Ben 9, sort of a midnight in sort of a midnight, because I'm trying to do things like fading out my black with um, like a midnight. Midnight color. Speaking of black eyeshadow, we have this one. This one I got from Amazon. I don't know what brand it is, but I just go through a lot of fucking shit ton of black. I really do because I I am a woman with large black eyelids. That's what it is for some reason. Here's one that my friend I think Kate gave me this actually. My good friend Kate from high school. I think she gave me this. I don't really remember though. Um, it's a, just like a glittery with a, it's a blue, a midnight blue, as you can see I've hit pan, I like the midnight blues to go with the blacks. Yes god, yes god. Okay, next up we have some more powder products. This one is a Ben Nye, a Ben Nye Camel. I've had this for forever because I used to use this as my main contour, but I've mostly been using eyeshadows lately. But yeah, if I do a carded contour, that's where you take a card and you like place it here and then you place your contour in and then you get away and then you have this line, right? It's, you have to be very careful doing it, but it's very effective. If I do a carded contour, I usually use this one. That's why it's in my kit. And then I have, um, this is like a classic Sativa Sequoia color because it's of course like, and can you believe it was only 10.95 for that much eyeshadow? That'll last me years, darling. 
years, darling. And that's why we go to Ben and I, because that shit will last you years. Speaking of last new years, we have a neutral set powder, a neutral hello camera white balance, a neutral set balance, a neutral set balance, girl, a neutral set powder. And this is crucial. This is my matte highlight, which is called Super White for She Who Is. Next, we have some makeup remover. Some makeup remover. Some makeup remover towelette crucial. We have, over here in her own little compartment, we have this deodorant. And um, this is the only deodorant I will ever use because it's clear, right? Like, it's literally clear. So, like, I if I shave my armpits, I could use the ones that are, like, white because you don't see the, like, you don't see it. But, like, I don't shave my armpits. They shave my legs, but I don't shave my armpits. I shave my face, but I don't shave my armpits. Because, I don't know why, it just seems like a fucking hassle, and it's a little bit itchier when I do it. I really don't enjoy it. And besides, like, women can have armpit hair, <laughs> so, like, as a drag queen, you know, I try to reference a, like, form of womanhood that I find responsible to showcase, you know? So, like, that's why I don't shave my armpits, you know? But I do shave my legs, because that's just what I like. I just like to be smooth. That's... Anyway, this is, um... This is my, um, this is my deodorant that I use. We also have randomly some NYX glitter. Some NYX glitter. It's just a nice glitter. Moving right along, we have a, um, I got this from Sally Beauty, probably up in upstate New York, or down here in Virginia, the two places that I've majorly lived. Um, this is just a, um, just a pencil sharpener. It has two holes, though, a big one and a small one. We have some classic lashes. These are the 301s, and now my friend, my good friend Mazuze, told me not to wear the 301s anymore, but I like them because they give me Muppet lashes. Pardon me, I burped. Do pardon me. Do pardon me. We have some lashes. These are lovely. I got these from eBay or Amazon. We have some lashes. These are lovely. I got them from either eBay or Amazon. We have some lashes. These are lovely. I got them from either eBay or Amazon. We have a lipstick. This one's old, but it's, um, I like this for day wear, actually. So, like, I'll wear, like, a little bit of eyeliner and a lash and a little bit of lipstick and shave, you know. And that's, like, my go-to... No brows, usually. Just, like, a little bit. Just a little gig, girl. That's all. We have some cover girl. Don't cover boy. Cover girl. Don't cover boy. Cover girl. Don't cover boy. And yet we still indulge in the cover girl mascara. Because she mascara, honestly, like, I already have lovely lashes, which you cannot see because I'm cut off right here, but... So this is a palette I got from Morphe before they got sued into non-existence and closed all their stores. As you can see, I've hit pan on the black. The glitters are really lovely, that's why I got them, the pressed glitters, but also the rainbows are really useful. The white one is also really useful, so that's why I have this one in here. Um, it also has a mirror, which is great. I have a Z palette, into which I've put a lot of eyeshadows. I couldn't even tell you. Some of these are MAC. Some of these are, like, Makeup Geek. These ones are ones I depotted. That one's one of the ones that smells like... It's Too Faced, so it smells like chocolate. That's my NARS Orgasm. That one's, like, Clinique or something. This one, I wish I knew what it was. It's a gold highlight. It's just... Just fucking beautiful. Just fucking beautiful. But I've been using these as contours with, like, this to deepen it. This is the good shit, girl. This is the shit you can't buy off the shelf, honey. So, yeah, we have another lipstick. This is another one. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm in that it's a peachy pink with a little bit of gold reflex in it, which is just really so flattering for me. We have um, an e.l.f. An e.l.f. Um, blush palette. This is really good. This is really good. Really love it. 
We have a Nars blush. It's um, Matahari, apparently. Yeah, lovely. Love that. This one I actually love. It's an elf blush slash highlighter combo. Really nice and sheer, actually. I really love this one as a blush. I have a rat tail comb. Just, you know, for precision, honey. For precision, honey. For precision. We've got this, which is like a dupe for the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. You can just get these on eBay. It's just a cream makeup palette. This one is Athena brand. Just search like cream makeup palette and you'll find one of these. They're really great. They're super useful. You can do literally anything you want with these as long as you set them with eyeshadow later. It's a little greasy, but like in terms of laying down lines, great. Great shit. That's why I keep it around. This is my neutrals palette. It's by Jaclyn Hill. I don't give a fuck about Jaclyn Hill, but this is her palette, girl. It's some neutrals. Some lovely neutrals and some lovely metallics. Here we have another Z palette with neutrals, metallics, and discarded children that, you know, couldn't make it anywhere else in the world. Here we have a, um, a, uh, as you can see, I used the black one so much that it popped out, but it's just some more neutrals in case I need some more neutrals. Here we have foundations, and here we get to do one of my favorite triggers, which is glass sounds. I love glass sounds so much. I love glass sounds so much. But yeah, these were given to me by my good friend Beck. Shout out to my patron Beck. Beck literally is the the inspiration for the foundation foundation. Dedicated to keeping my skin ready for any occasion of the party persuasion. Come on and pitch in. My Venmo. My Venmo. My Venmo is at Alan Extra. That's A-L-A-N. X T R A. There is no E in extra. But anyway, yeah, you could turn it to the foundation foundation dedicated to keeping my skin ready for any occasion of the party persuasion. At that address, that's Alan Extra on Venmo. I am nothing if not a grifter on the internet. This I've had for forever. It's a, a high beam highlighter. This is another one that I go for for daytime wear. Um, this looks like a bottle of poppers, but it's not. It's actually rubbing alcohol. I just keep it in a poppers bottle because I think it's funny. This is some Ben Nye glitter glue in case I need to do glitter. This is my go-to eyeliner. It's a nice dry formula. It's a nice dry formula, and it is the Maybelline Lasting Drama. The Maybelline Lasting Drama. And that drama, girl, she lasts. Okay, here we have... some pills. This is <laughs> Walgreens brand Naproxen, girl, because I have chronic pain in my neck because I was assaulted at my workplace like five, six years ago in upstate New York. Bad shit, girl. And I could tell you more about that, but that we're going to save for the OnlyFans, okay? Anyway, I have chronic pain in my neck. Because some motherfucker decided to deck me. So yeah, five, six years later, I have chronic pain in my neck and I take this a lot. Just a large dose of naproxen. Great. Love that for me. Next up we have, this is a Ben Nye Media Pro Total Conceal All Wheel. As you can see, I've used, I've used one of them to shit and the other ones. Hello, white balance. As you can see, we're we're an, an uneven. This one is great if you're doing on camera work because it's a neutral. It's a green tone, so it's good to like balance out red tones. I have a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks, so I you know use that. This now this is the MVP. This is a wig tape, and what this is is it's a tape that's held together between like wax paper sheets. You take this, you clean your forehead with some alcohol you stick your wig tape on and then you stick your lace front wig to it and it's just amazing this one um is a clown wheel <laughs> oh it's it's the red black and white wheel not the clown wheel but i call it the clown wheel this is to me the clown wheel um that's what i use you know for my red black and white this is a technically an old age stipple 
CK7 The Age Stipple, but um, I use this for cream contours. It's the same formula, who cares? And here's some more um, concealers that I use. And that, that, girls, gays, and bays, that, my ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the entirety of my makeup kit. You know what I think I deserve? I think I deserve a hit off my vape. This girl, it's been like 30, it's, this take is like 33 minutes, 34 minutes, and um, the last take was like six minutes, so like, girl, we're giving the girlies what they want. They said longer videos, I say yes ma'am, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, you deserve it, girl, you deserve it, girl. 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 Absolutely. Am I gonna have to clean hairspray off my iPad later? Yes. Do I care? No. For the video!